Hi there. Today we will discuss on the sustainable development. So if you access Blackboard and then open the first item which is the sustainable development slide, what you will see will be this slide. So for this sustainable development, you need to uh, select one example of process intensification. For this example of process intensification, uh, all group will be using heat exchange between streams okay heat exchange between streams so how do we go about it so we have to refer back to the process flow diagram so let's say this is the process flow diagram given uh, in this process flow diagram you have a process where there's a heat exchanger e101 the stream entering is stream number two and then stream coming out is stream number three uh, stream number two has a temperature of 25 degrees celsius and then uh, stream number three the outlet has a temperature of 250 degrees celsius it is being heated by using high pressure stream and then we have a stream number four that enters another heat exchanger it's a cooler uh, stream number four has a temperature of 350 degrees celsius and then comes out at 90 degrees celsius it is being cooled by using cooling water now can we exchange the heat between these two streams so instead of having two heat exchanger we have one heat exchanger where the heat between the two streams are being exchanged so it's possible right so that is what you need to do for this chapter where you have stream number two with a temperature of 25 degrees celsius uh, will be heated to let's say 250 degrees celsius okay but you need to check whether this temperature is possible or not possible being heated by uh, let's say counter currently by using stream number four that enters at temperature of 350 degrees celsius and then comes out cooler at around 90 degrees celsius okay this is temperature uh, sorry stream number five so you need to uh, use ices to simulate simulate whether the heat needed <coughs> by stream two to increase the temperature from 25 to 250 is uh, enough uh, that means the heat supplied by stream number four uh, for it to lower from 350 to 90 degrees celsius is it enough or not so this is what you need to do in chapter 4 so that is the concept uh, there might be there might not be enough heat uh, available so that means uh, let's say even though all the heat that stream number 4 has already used uh, the temperature of stream number three is still not 250 degrees celsius let's say it's uh, only reaching uh, 200 degrees celsius so that means we need an additional heat exchanger but that heat exchanger will require less uh, flow rate of high pressure steam so that is how we show this uh, heat exchange between stream can uh, reduce the amount of uh, steam use and also the amount of cooling water use and this will translate to the lower uh, utility costs okay so that is a, a brief overview on how you can proceed to do uh, the sustainability which is the application of process intensification okay with that uh, we'll end the recording